وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار حياكم الله brothers and sisters in the daily halqa of tafsir inshallah I will start the ayah the verse number 8 surah al-baqarah as we mentioned Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the beginning of this surah mentioned three types of people the first type the believers then he mentioned the disbelievers then after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us about the third type which is called Al-Munafiqun, the hypocrites. Because they are, of course, here they mean that Allah means subhanahu wa ta'ala hypocrites who are, who have, uh, who, who does the hypocrisy by their heart, not only by their actions. So they are also considered kuffar, but they are more dangerous than the kuffar. Because if you remember, we mentioned that the faith has levels and also the kufr, the disbelief also has levels. And al-nifaq, it is the lowest part in the hellfire. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِي الدَّرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ مِنَ النَّارِ The hypocrites are in the lowest level in the hellfire. It means in the worst level in the hellfire. وَالْعِيَادُ بِاللَّهِ May Allah protect us. So, because their situation is difficult, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarified their situation in more ayat. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started by saying, وَمِنَ nas." Okay? Some of the people, not all of them. Some of the people, not all of them. And uh, here in the Quran, Shaykh Mu'athameen, rahimahullah, is very careful. When, Shaykh Mu'athameen is one of the greatest scholars of the previous century. Uh, he mentioned يعني, we should be careful when we say most of people, some people, few people. We ha you have to be careful. So if you, if you notice few people doing something, don't say most of people or all of people. You have to be careful because you are responsible about what you are saying. So if you see uh, one or if you saw two, three, four people doing something, so you, 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 you should say I saw few people doing this. Okay, but if you say, and if you count them, most of people, then you can't say most of people. But if you don't know, don't say most of people. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here said, وَمِنَ nas, Some of the people. مَنْ يَقُولُ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَبِالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ They say, and they claim, just claiming by their mouth, by their tongues. Okay. آمنا بالله. We believe in Allah. Allah is our Lord. Allah is the only one who should be worshipped. سبحانه وتعالى. They say آمنا بالله. وباليوم الآخر. And we believe in the last day. We believe in the hellfire. We believe in the and we believe in paradise. We believe in the in the scale. We believe in everything. They are saying that by their mouth. And Allah سبحانه وتعالى said وما هم بمؤمنين. And they are not believers. Women and Nas men, Yaqul. They just say. But what is the reality? Allah told us about the reality. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are not believers. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the, in the other surah, in Surah Al Fath, Yaquluna bi al sinatihim ma laysa fi kulubihim. They say, they say what is not in, your, in their hearts. It means they are lying. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said in surah uh, the previous ayah surah al-fatih another ayah in surah at-tawbah yurdunakum bi afwahihim wa ta'ba qulubuhum wallahi brothers and sisters we need to study these ayat and these examples from the quran to know who are the hypocrites who live with us sheikh what you are saying we are muslims yes alhamdulillah we are muslims but no doubt there are hypocrites among the Muslim community. How can I dis the, the differentiate between the hypocrites and the believers? Of course, we are not sure, 100% sure, but these are some clues from the Quran and Sunnah that this action, the action of hypocrites. 
والعياذ بالله may Allah protect us so this is very important ayah in surah tawbah يرضونكم بأفواههم وتأبى قلوبهم they try to say what pleases you what makes you happy وتأبى قلوبهم but they hate what they are saying inside their heart they hate subhanallah يرضونكم بأفواههم وتأبى قلوبهم Allah says, as I mentioned the ayah in Surah An-Nisa, إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِي الدَّرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ مِنَ النَّارِ They are in the lowest, the worst level in the hellfire. Hypocrisy is a very dangerous disease. From where the hypocrisy started? Islam started in Mecca. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started the da'wah when he was in Mecca. Okay, now the question. Where, where were the hypocrites in the Makki time? There, were, there was no hypocrisy. Why? Because there was no need. What is, the, what is the concept of hypocrisy? The concept of hypocrisy, when Iman is a strong, when Islam is a strong, hypocrisy will be strong also. But when Iman and, or when the Muslims are weak, hypocrisy will be weak or no need for hypocrisy. So in Mecca, or sorry, before that, what is the meaning of hypocrisy? To declare Islam and hide the disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am with you and I say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters, we have to pray. We have to give charity. We have, we, we have to give da'wah. We have to memorize Quran. But when they stay with their friends, they plan against the Muslims and Islam. This is the hypocrisy. To hide the disbelief in Allah and to declare Islam. Okay, so in Mecca, the Muslims were very weak. And there were some Muslims hiding their Islam, the opposite. They were hiding their Islam and some of them were declaring the kufr. Why? Because they were forced. You have to say the kufr. If you don't say the disbelief in Allah, we will kill you, we will beat you. We'll... So subhanAllah, some Muslims were hiding the, the iman inside the heart. They are believers. But sometimes they say the wrong word just to save themselves. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِلَّا مَنْ أُكْرِهَ وَقَلْبُهُ مُطْمَئِنٌ بِالْإِيمَانِ this is, It means this is okay. When you say the wrong word, the disbelief, but your heart is full of iman. Why you are saying the kufr? To save yourself. Or they are forcing you. If you don't say this, we'll kill you and your, we'll kill your family. So, of course, the time of Mecca, it is very dangerous to be a Muslim. And some Muslims came to the, some people came to the Prophet ﷺ declaring Islam. Then they, they, they say to the, uh, the Prophet ﷺ told them, leave Mecca. This is not the time to declare Islam in Mecca. Like Abu, ba Abu Dar al-Ghifari, radiyallahu ta'ala, one of the great scholars and companions. Abu Dar al-Ghifari, his name is Jundub ibn Junada, radiyallahu ta'ala an. Jundub ibn Junada. The Prophet said, go, go away, don't stay here, it is dangerous. But when he declared Islam in Mecca, they beat him, the disbelievers in Mecca. So it was dangerous to declare Islam in Mecca. So of course, no need in Mecca to hide the disbelief and to declare Islam. But after 13 years, the Prophet ﷺ migrated from Mecca to Medina. What was the environment there in Medina? The environment in Medina, different sects, different religions. The Jews from one side and the Aus and Khazraj, idol worshippers, pagans or pagans. And the Jews, not only one sect, three sects. Banu Quraidah, Wabunu Qaynuqa, Wabanu Nadir. 
And the idol worshippers, the Aus wal Khazraj told, they, they were five groups. And this is an important point here, brothers and sisters. I like to clarify this. And this is very important. Many times we feel bad. Why? We say, why we are Muslims? We are many sects, this group, the other group, third, fourth, fifth group. Why we are not like the, the, the Christians? Do you think that the Christians, they are one group? There are many groups in the Christianity. And the same thing, the Jews. Okay? But Alhamdulillah in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His messengers, His messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam guided us to the correct path and the correct sect. Who is the correct sect? Those who follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions. Radiyallahu ta'ala. So, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrated to Medina, the people in Medina agreed to consider the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the leader of the Muslims there. And Medina became a Muslim country. So when the Prophet ﷺ reached there, now Medina is a Muslim country. Yes, not all of them were Muslims. Okay? Not all of them accepted Islam from the Jews or from the idol worshippers. So the Prophet ﷺ was the leader there. And many, many of them, or maybe most of them, were Muslims. But now, the non-Muslims considered themselves in a big trouble. Why? Because they should accept Islam. This is the first choice. The second choice, if they don't want to accept Islam, they should leave in Medina. And this is difficult for them to leave their country. And they don't want to leave their country. The third choice, to stay in Medina and to pay al-jizya. They consider them, the Jews, like ah Ahlul Kitab, Ahlul Dhimma. You stay in Medina and we protect you, but you should pay the jizya. And they don't want that. So, what is the fourth solution? They agreed, let's show them that we are Muslims. And we should try our best to destroy Islam from inside. And we convey the secrets from the Muslim community to the non-Muslim community. And from that time, the concept of hypocrisy started to hide disbelief and to declare the Islam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, back to the ayat, وَمِنَ nas, Some of the people, they claim we believe in Allah in the last day. But what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, they are not believers. Why they are doing that? يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهَ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا they are trying to deceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the believers. They think that when we say we are Muslims, this is a good idea. We are deceiving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also we are deceiving the Muslims. They cannot kill us and also they cannot fire us from the Medina. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسَهُمْ They are deceiving just uh, they are deceiving them, themselves they are not deceiving me they are not deceiving the muslims they are deceiving themselves why because they are doing a lot of effort why because they 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 have two faces they have two faces and this is not an easy job yani the hypocrite yes he, they live in Medina with the Muslims and they are showing that they are Muslims. But this is very difficult for them. I mean, psychological is very diff difficult for them. The Prophet وسلم, said, Hadith, Sahih Muslim, مثل منافق كشات العائرة لا إله هؤلاء وإلى هؤلاء The Prophet وسلم, said, about the hypocrite. The hypocrite, the example of the hypocrite, like a shat al aira. What does it mean, shat al aira? The sheep which is uh, uh, the lost sheep or the confused sheep. The sheep can see two flocks, one to the right and one to the left. Sometimes goes to the right, sometimes to the left. So, shaking, hesitating. 
Okay, so maybe the, the, the wolf will come and eat this sheep because it is some of the time alone. Yes, some of the time with this group and the other time with that group. But this is confusion. This will put the person in a big trouble, big headache. While if you live with the believers and your whole time with the believers, know that you will be secure, safe. You will be comfortable. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسَهُمْ They are deceiving themselves. Okay, what do you think will do? You, you, if you disbelieve, if you hide the disbelief, what will you do to the believers? The believers will be in paradise, خلاص. And do you think that you can deceive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You are deceiving yourself. And it will come in the ayah. وَيُخَادِعُونَ اللَّهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَمَا يَخْدَعُونَ إِلَّا أَنفُسَهُمْ وَمَا يَشْعُونَ And they are not feeling. And this is the problem. Sometimes the person is doing something in one side. And he is losing. And he is not feeling that he is losing. Because of him, himself, because of his deeds, because of his, of his actions. He is not thinking very well. He is not consulting his friends. He is not following the correct path. So he's wasting his time and he's losing himself. This is the, the way of the hypocrites. They are losing themselves and they feel we are happy. We are cheating the believers. Subhanallah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is the main problem. في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا They have a heart disease. Stroke? High cholesterol? Blockage in the coronary vein or artery? No. The problem they have the disease of doubt. What is the disease of doubt? The disease of doubt, they like to be with the believers sometimes. And other times they, they like to be with the disbelievers. They like to be with the Christians. They like to be with the Jews. They like to be alone. They like to be with the believers. Okay? So they are in doubt. Because of what? Because of the heart disease. If you remember, we mentioned there are two types of diseases, of heart diseases. Marad al-shubuhat or marad al-shahawat. The doubt diseases and the desire diseases. Desire disease means the lust, يعني, the adultery, love of uh, adultery, riba, stealing. This is called marad shahawat, lust desire. And or the carnal desire. And there is something called marad shubuhat, doubts, which is correct. Christianity or Islam, okay? Um, the idol worshippers or, or Islam, they are in doubt. Sometimes they feel, no, Islam is correct. But when they see the Muslim community is very weak, they, they are in a big mess. Islam and Muslims are not, are not okay. So always they are in doubt, subhanAllah. If you remember when we uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the, the 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 when he described the believers, he said Dalkal Kitab La Rayba fi Hudal Muttaqin al Ladina Yu minuna bil Ghaib Uyukimuna Salat Wimma Razaknahum Yufikun. Wabil wa Ladina Yu minu bima unzi lika wama unzila minu public they have certainty. Okay? في قلوبهم مرض. Then, فزادهم الله مرضا. Allah increased their disease, to, uh, increased them, them in their diseases. Allah made it worse. Not because Allah is oppressing them, because they chose this path. Always you will notice, inshallah, in the Quran when we read, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is punishing them because they, they want to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished the disbelievers or, or the scholar said, مِنْ شُؤْمُ الْمَعْصِيَةِ الْمَعْصِيَةِ بَأْتَتْلُوهَا The bad, one of the bad impact of the sin, the sin after sin. And the good impact of the reward, the reward after reward. For example, when you read one page of the Quran, this is a good deed. 
you feel I like to read another one. So one hasana will bring the other hasana. And the one who's doing a sin, maybe you read something wrong. You watch something wrong, you like to, to watch another video. For example, you are watching YouTube, one bad YouTube. After you finish, you like to, to see another one. This is a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ When they went astray, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deviate their hearts. فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ And also yesterday we mentioned the ayah, وَأَمَّا ثَمُودْ فَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ فَاسْتَحَبُّوا الْعَمَى عَلَى الْهُدَى We guided them, the people of Salih, but they avoid the straight path and they like to follow the bad and the wrong path. فاستحبوا العمى على الهدى في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب أليم and they have a severe torment why? بما كانوا يكذبون and they will get a severe torment punishment because بما كانوا يكذبون because of their lying they are lying what, what, what kind of lie? They are saying we are Muslims and they are not Muslims. They are saying we believe in Allah in the last day and they, are, they don't believe in Allah in the last day. They say we believe that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. They don't believe that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So this is kadib. So Allah is punishing them because of this kadib. Then Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala in ayah number 11. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْلِحُونَ and when they are told la tufsidu fil ard don't transgress don't do the mischief in the land they say no 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 we are we are doing the good we are intending the good we want the good we want the khair for the earth for the people subhanallah please brothers and sisters when you read this ayat try to think about the surroundings Think about some writers in the newspaper and magazines and the internet. They claim that I have a plan to improve the country. What is your plan? Let the boys and girls study together. Mix them together. Why the boys alone, the, the girls alone? Why the music is haram? Why the, we tell the women to wear the hijab? Now we are the 21st century. We need doctors, we need, we need engineers, teachers. So let them work without hijab. Give them the freedom. If you give them the freedom, you can improve the country. Subhanallah. So always they want to, to, to link the people that improvement, develop, development is related with freedom. Which kind of freedom? It means to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So always they are trying to destroy and to spread the mischief in the, in, in the ground, in the land, in the earth. But they are claiming, no, we are doing good. Astaghfirullah al-Azim. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْلِحُونَ We are good people. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ نُفْسِدُونَ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ They are doing the mischief. And they are not feeling that. Subhanallah. Always you'll, you notice this kind of people, that, I mean the hypocrites, yani, uh, trying to stop the khair, the good. And they want to start the evil. They want people, give the, give the yani, wallahi, subhanallah, some people, yani, for example, here in Kuwait, alhamdulillah, in Kuwait, we don't have khamr. It is, I mean, it, it is not allowed, legally, it is not allowed to sell the khamr, the wine. But some people, they say, and or few people, they say, we should provide this in Kuwait. Why? They say, because if we don't provide the alcohol in Kuwait, people will travel to other countries to drink outside. Provide this here in Kuwait. And also, this is a good business. A'udhu billah. A'udhu billah. You are, you are helping people who are doing the sins. You should stop them. You should advise them. Subhanallah. 
استغفر الله العظيم ألا إنهم المفسدون ولكن لا يشعرون then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسِ قَالُوا أَنُؤْمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ السُّفَهَاءِ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ سُفَهَاءَ وَلَكِنْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ سبحان الله Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ when to say to them آمِنُوا believe كما آمن الناس وإذا قيل لهم آمنوا كما آمن الناس when to say to the hypocrites believe like people here the word الناس means the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and the companions the word الناس it is a general word okay but how how can we decide it, here it means the kuffar or it means the believers or it means the hypocrites it depends on the ayah on the context what preceded this ayah and what is after this ayah this is very important very important in the in the in the quran and the arabic language and also in the english language sometimes i ask you uh, what is the meaning of this word you cannot tell me you tell me you are asking me what is the sentence so يعني you will not give me the, the meaning of the word alone you will ask me what is the sentence if you tell me the sentence then I can tell you the meaning ex- the exact meaning of this word okay like the other ayah الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فلا تخشوهم وخشون من سورة آل عمران شاء الله this will come الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم the fa- here to, the, the word nas to, nas means people two times the se- first one means the hypocrites and the second one means the disbelievers the kuffar of Quraysh okay and in this ayah it means the prophet sallallahu and the companions why three different meanings it depends where is the place of this where is the place of this ayah and this is the pu- the beauty of the quran وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ آمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ النَّاسِ قَالُوا أَنُؤْمِنُوا كَمَا آمَنَ السُّفَهَاءِ Do you want us to believe like السُّفَهَاءِ What is the meaning of word السُّفَهَاءِ السُّفَهَاءِ It is the plural of السَّفِيه السَّفِيه It means the one who doesn't know his his مصلحة his benefits and he can bring the harm he can harm himself this is called Safi. He doesn't know uh, his maslaha. The good things for him. Yani for, for example, you, yani, uh, uh, a boy, maybe he's seven years old or eight years old. He's Safi. Why? Because if you give him, you, you tell him, okay, I will give you 10,000 KD and you go and live alone. The first thing he will buy a mobile 400 kd maybe. then he will invite his friends to buy ice cream or so he invest the money why because he is safi he doesn't know his his maslah he doesn't know what is good for him generally speaking and maybe he, he he can harm himself maybe he will buy something harmful for him or he'll waste the money in two three days then he will be homeless this is called safi so the hypocrites Accuse the believers. They say, Do you want us to believe like the Sufaha? A'udhu billah. They mean the Prophet Muhammad is a Safi. They mean the companions Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman. They don't know what is good for them. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ala inhum humu sufaha. They are the real Sufaha. Ala inhum humu sufaha. Walakin la ya'lamun. So if you notice Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said La yash'urun, they don't feel La ya'lamun, they don't know وَإِذَا لَقُوا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْتَهْزِئُونَ When they sit with the believers When they meet the believers They say Wallahi we love you We love Islam And uh, we like to fight with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We like to defend Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We will give uh, charity uh, to help the Muslims, we are praying with you. 
Okay, so always they are talking about Islam and Muslims. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, خَلُوا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ But when they have their own meetings in the hidden places, secretly, وَإِذَا خَلُوا إِلَى شَيَاطِينِهِمْ Here, shayatin means, as some scholars said, the head of the disbelievers or the head of the hypocrites or the, the leaders from the the Jews because as I mentioned in Medina the Prophet ﷺ was in Medina also there were some Jews so these hypocrites stay with the Prophet ﷺ. they attend the meetings and they take the information from the Muslims then they go to their friends the Jews and they tell them the secrets of the Muslims and then when they stay with, sorry when they stay with the disbelievers with the Jews for example they say, don't worry, we don't believe in Muhammad and his companions. Just we are saying this by our tongues. We are with you. وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَى شَيَاطِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْتَهْزِئُونَ We are with you. Don't worry. We are mocking the Muslims. We are mocking the Muslims. We are deceiving them. We are cheating them. Don't worry. We, don't worry. We are with you. إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُسْتَهْزِئُونَ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah يَسْتَهْزِئُ بِهِمْ وَيَمُدُّهُمْ فِي طُغْيَانِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ Allah said, Allah is mocking them. وَيَمُدُّهُمْ فِي طُغْيَانِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them more time in their deviancy. They are going astray. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them the chance. Why? If they like, they should go back to Islam. But they don't like, so they will do more sins. As he said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the Prophet in the hadith, Inna Allah la yumli lidhalim. Allah will give more life for the oppressors. Hatta idha akhadahu lam yuflit. Until a time comes, he cannot escape the punishment of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like Fir'aun. Allah gave him the chance to, to rule the, the Egypt and to kill the, the, the poor people and to, uh, take, to make them as slaves, the women of Bani Israel, the children of Israel. But a time came, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him to die in front of all of them in the sea of Egypt. And also Qarun. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, said in this, in this ayah, Allah yastahzi'u bihim wa yamudduhum fi tughyanihim ya'mahoon. Okay. Allah yastahzi'u bihim wa yamudduhum fi tughyanihim ya'mahoon. Uh, so what is the meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mocking them in the dunya it means they are wasting their time they will not read the Quran they will not collect hasanat okay and if they do anything anything of any kind of worship without a good intention so all of their deeds not valid this is in dunya and in the akhirah in the akhirah Allah will mock them how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for example in surah al الحديد يوم يقول المنافقون والمنافقات للذين آمنوا انظرونا نقتبس من نوركم okay. قيل ارجعوا وراءكم this is والله brothers sisters we والله we should take the advantage that we are alive now to collect حسنات and to correct our intention don't waste any minute in your life don't say I will do this later I will do this next year, next year, next week, next day. Do it now. If you are planning to do something good, do it now. I will give you a, a, a common example. Many Muslims delay Hajj. I mean those Muslims who can do Hajj. They can get the visa and they have the money. They, are, are, they have the health, good health to do Hajj. You tell them, when, for example, last year, 
who could do Hajj, but they did not do. They say, Inshallah, next year, next year, not this year. Okay? Now, this year, where is the Hajj? Subhanallah. So, of course, those people are feeling very sorry why they did not do the Hajj last year. And now, Subhanallah, you, c you can notice people cannot visit Mecca. People cannot visit Medina. And Allah Alam, also the time of Hajj. Also, maybe it will not be open for the people to do Hajj. And next year, what will happen? Maybe next year you will not get money to do Hajj. Then the third year, you cannot get visa for the Hajj. You don't know what will happen. So, brothers, sisters, if you have the chance to do the good now, to do the good now, do it. Don't delay it. Why? Because you don't know what will happen. You don't know when will you die. Death comes suddenly. Death comes without permission. Death will not knock the door. Please, I'm taking your soul. Is it okay now or later? He will not take permission. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayah, وَاللَّهُ يَسْتَهْزِئُ بِهِمْ وَيَمُدُّهُمْ فِي طُغْيَانِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ so Allah is mocking them. How? Some scholars say this is as it came in Surah Al-Hadid. يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا The hypocrites will be with the believers at the Day of Judgment for some time. But a time will come, the believers will go forward. There will be a distance. Not like now distancing because of Corona one meter more. So the hypocrites will say, Onduruna, please wait. Why? Because the believers have light. They can see, then they can walk. While the hypocrites are using the light of the believers. So when, when the believers go away, I mean they go forward, then it will be dark for the hypocrites. And the hypocrites will ask the believers, please wait. Wait for us. Please wait. We need to take from some light from you. We need to use your light. It means we need to use your iman and your faith. The believers will say, Go back. Maybe you can find some light. Some scholars said it means go back. It means to the dunya. And of course, this is impossible. So while they are talking and the believers walking, in f going forward, going ahead, and the hypocrites standing in their place because of darkness and they cannot walk, while they were talking, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put a barrier between the believers and the hypocrites. The side of the hypocrites, very ugly shape, scary shape. And the side of the believers, very nice. They are calling the believers. The hypocrites will call the believers. Alam nakum ma'akum. We were with you. It means in dunya. The hypocrites were sitting together with the believers. Then the believers said, Yes, you were with us. Walakinakum fatantum anfusakum. What are robustum or tabtum or ratkum al amani? Hatta ja amullah. Yes, you were sitting with us, but shaitan misguided you. And you followed the steps of the shaitan. It means you disbelieved in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So some scholars say this is the meaning of that Allah is mocking them. Allah yastahizu bihim wa yamuddun fi tughyanihim ya'mahun. The last ayah for today. Sorry, I'm taking more minutes. Ula'ika alladheena ishtarawu al-dalalata bil-huda. This type of people, the hypocrites, they bought the misguidance. And what was the... The, what did they pay? They pay their faith. And some scholars said, at the beginning they were Muslims, but they left Islam. So they exchange the faith with the disbelief. 
أولئك الذين اشتروا الضلالة بالهدى فما ربحت تجارتهم This is as a business Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said فما ربحت تجارتهم they, they did not get the profit of their business أولئك الذين اشتروا الضلالة بالهدى فما ربحت تجارتهم وما كانوا مهتدين And also they were not guided Here some scholars said there is a, a, an important point here why? Because sometimes the, the person who is working business, he will lost his products. But he will learn from his mistakes. And next time he can gain, or the third time. But for the hypocrites, Allah said, they lost their business and also they, were, they are not guided. It means they did not get the benefit from their first uh, trial. Okay, again, if you are working business, the first time you lost. Why you lost? You try to study. So you try to get the benefit. Why did I? Why did I? Uh, I I lose my my profits, my money. So next time I will not do the same mistake. So we can say you lost your uh, profits, but you are guided. But for the hypocrites, they they lost their money. It means they lost their iman and also. They are not guided. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from this way, the way of the hypocrites, because they are the worst people on this land. Inshallah, I'll continue tomorrow the same time. Zakwallah khair. I'll take some questions, inshallah. Some people, yes, these people need our help, our dua. Uh, some people, yes, they are, they are confused. Why? Because maybe the environment, because of the parents maybe, because of the school, because of the media. Okay? But here in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking, about, I mean the hypocrites, Allah is talking about a, a shayateen. They are devils. They are shaitan. They are planning to attack the Muslims, to make the Muslims weaker. Okay, so this is a different story. I disagree that a real Muslim would blasphemy. In order to save their lives, a real Muslim would never denounce their religion, regardless of the punishment, because major sin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this in the Quran. إِلَّا مَنْ أُكْرِهَا وَقَلْبُهُ مُطْمَئِنٌ بِالْإِيمَانِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the excuse that the Muslim can, can say the word of disbelief to save himself, if his heart is full of Iman. So this is from Allah, not from me. Sorry, you need to, to check the Quran. Please be polite when you talk to me. Please, yani, if you have a comment, you are welcome to say any comment. If you disagree with me, you are welcome. But please be polite. Yani, I'm spending time in preparing. Okay, you can see here, yeah, and here two books, and here two books, and there maybe five books, uh, and I have every day two halqa. I spending time, so please be polite when you make any comment, not only with me, with any teacher who is teaching you. Okay, I'm not saying that everything I'm saying is correct. Of course, I'm a human being. I'm learning from you. Well, I am learning from you. When you send a question, you, when you put a comment, and Zalmullah Khair, mashallah, some brothers, sisters, they send a direct message, not in public, and uh, yani, maybe some discussions, I learn from them. Zalmullah Khair. Okay, but we need to be polite. I'm doing mis mistakes, no doubt, no doubt. But this is very important. If you are learning, if you like to learn, be polite, please.
So, you know, the fighting with the comments. <laughs> Amin, amin. No, the point is not if you disagree, leave. Okay, no, no, no problem. I, I have no problem. Maybe I am wrong. Okay, but be polite if you have any comment. I think no, no questions now, huh? Zakim Allah khair, are there different kinds of nifaq? Yes, uh, so I was going to, to say, but because the time finished, there, uh, here what we are talking, I mean this ayat about the uh, al nifaq al-akbar, or al-i'tiqadi, the major hypocrisy, or the, uh, the hypocrisy related to the belief. They are not Muslims, okay? There is another type of hypocrisy which is called nifaq al-amali, a practical nifaq. They are Muslims, but they, when they speak, they lie. Or when they promise, they break the promise. Okay, So I cannot say they are not Muslims. They are Muslims, but they have some traits of the hypocrisy. Of the hypocrisy. Any signs of hypocrisy? There are many. There are many. Some of them mentioned here, and some of them in Surah At-Tawbah, some of them in Surah Nisa, Surah Al-Munafiqun. There are many of them, and you can uh, check the halqa when we spoke about the hypocrisy. Brother, uh, I think Brother Azhar download the, the Halqa in his channel. Can you please give an example of hypocrisy in business and job? Hypocrisy in business and job? I don't know, Yani. I don't know. Today many people say good things on the fat and the face, but as they part, the same people talking good on their face. Uh, sorry. Today many people say good things on the face, but as they part, the same people talking good on their face start backbite. Are they hypo hypocrites? Okay, uh, basically backbiting is haram. But there is a hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw uh, a man coming to him. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, بِئْسَ أَخُ الْعَشِيرَةِ What a bad person this. But when this person entered, he was speaking to him in a nice way. Then Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said, Oh Rasulallah, when you saw this man coming, you said something bad about him. But when he entered the house, you, you, was, you were nice with him. Then the Prophet وسلم, said, Inna sharra nas man zila, man nas The worst, one of the worst people, or the worst people, if you, you avoid him because of his bad manners. Okay? So, uh, if the situation like that, then it is not hypocrisy. But, uh, if I, yani, I meet someone and I say, I say, Wallah, you are the best man. You, Wallah, I am very happy when I meet you. And I am lying. And after uh, he, he left, I say a bad thing about him. And he's just a friend. He's not a harmful person. Okay? Then, no doubt, this is part of hypocrisy. Why? Because this is lying. Lying. Sheikh, does having doubts or 
reservation make a person a hypocrite as a revert with no other contact with Muslims except here or with some sisters online. I find it hard at times. No, no, يعني, what do you mean by doubts? Because يعني, sometimes I have doubt about a ruling in Islam. Why? Because maybe I don't know the hadith or I don't know the, me the, the real meaning of the hadith. Okay, I, then I cannot say he's a, hip a hypocrite. But the, ay the ayat is talking about the major things in Islam, the pillars of Iman. Uh, will be there uh, hereafter or not, another life or not. Okay, this is something major. This is a disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, or he's hesit uh, yeah, hesitant in his belief about the prophets, uh, books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels. This is the hypocrisy. So uh, what kind of doubt? It depends. Zakallah khair Salman. The linguistic meaning of nifaq uh, from nafuqa. It is, uh, there is a, a, an animal in the desert looks like the, the mouse. I, I don't know exactly the name. Okay, it looks like the mouse, but the, the legs are long. L يعني, it walks like uh, the, the rabbit. Okay, this animal is a smart. He, he, ma he makes a hole in the ground, okay, with two doors. Why? Because if the snake follows this animal and he enters from this, from one door, the, the snake or the, the, the big animal waiting for him from this door. But this mouse will escape from the other door. Okay, so this is called nafuqa. It has two doors. Why? So the, the hypocrite has two faces. Like this animal has two doors. This is the origin of the word. Adkar al masa after dhuhr adan. Adkar al masa after dhuhr adan. Sister Karima. We should learn manners before learning. No, after Dhuhr, not after Asr, no, nor neither after Maghrib. Is hypocrisy in worldly matters and hypocrisy in Islam both sinful? <laughs> hypocrisy, it means to lie. And of course, lying is haram. Yes, we finished book it. Sheikh, any comments on this text? While standing in Salah. Please don't ask me this question, Brother Shakil. <laughs> uh, yes, one of the brothers uh, asked me about to keep distance in the Jama'ah. Then I said, this is not a Jama'ah. Not, yani, uh, yesterday, sorry, the, uh, Saturday, Islam QA put a, a study about this uh, topic. And uh, they came to a conclusion that this is allowed. Okay? So, uh, والله, this is something, in, uh, I will not say new in fuq, but new for us now. So, uh, wallahi, يعني, Allah musta'an. So, their fatwa is, this, the salah is valid. In our building, few friends and pray, are praying taraweeh, prayer together about four people. In these times, it's better to pray with them or pray alone. Pray alone at home is better. I mean, I worry sometimes if I should be a Muslim or not. Sometimes it is a thing. No, no, this is, this is from the shaitan. You believe in Allah. You believe in the last day. You will believe in Muhammad as a messenger. You believe the Quran is the book of Allah. You are Muslim, okay? You have doubts. If you have doubts, you ask. Then you clarify your doubts, and inshallah, you'll be okay. The animal is a, a dub. No, 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 not lizard. 
In Arabic, it is called al jarbu'. I think the time finish. Jazakum al khair, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank <laughs> you.